Hi everyone and welcome to part 52 of my GTA VCS special vehicle guide. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain fireproof, tip proof, pop proof, exclusive colour and furnace sports cars from um, the Turismo mission. Now, um, the process to get this is pretty complicated just like the cheetah, you know, because you can't snipe the driver out of the car and get in it on time. So we're going to have to do the same thing that we did with the cheetahs and that is to um, leave the island and come back because then the cars at the start line will be flipped over but there's some slight differences between obtaining this and obtaining the cheetah um, obtaining the cheetah we use the sand king to push it kind of across the beach in the previous part of the special vehicle guide now the sand king cannot push the infernus at all because it's too big and um, which means that the option of pushing the Infernus across the beach is not not feasible really. Well it can be done but it just takes a long time and um, where the start line is located there's a pond that you can push the Infernus into and there's a really good trick because you can just use an ordinary car to do this because it's on the road and um, before you push it in this pond we're gonna flip it on its wheels um, and then you can very carefully push it in the water without activating the race. Well, I'll go through all this anyway, step by step, in a minute. But it's, um, it's pretty complicated to explain. So basically the reason we're not using the Sand King is because it's just too big and um, it doesn't push the Infernus very well. And, you know, pushing it all the way across the beach is not feasible anymore, so we're going to do a slightly different approach. I'm pretty sure even a... Um, even an Infernus itself can push the Infernuses really well. Maybe I'm going to use one of those. But yeah, a Stallion works very well as well. Just basically pick a car that can, pu can push um, an Infernus well. It just depends completely, because this game, you know, for example, you know, a big truck might not put might not push the infernus very well, and it might stick a lot and just kind of you know not move. It's very very sporadic and random. Uh, I don't know why. It's just quirk of the game. Oh, if I can get to the damn start line. Right, I'm at the start line as you can see. Every single infernus is an exclusive color. So for a laugh, I'll just get the white one because it's actually the same colour as Lancers and it's very fun to compare afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the Infernus down this road until we get to here, where that square is, basically. There's a pond just in front of a bridge. So um, gradually just take your time. Do not, if you can avoid it, flip the Infernus on their wheels. We're going to do that just before we go into the pond. So a good way to push it push it from behind, then it just certainly cannot flip on, flip sideways. So as you can see, very nice. Basically, if you push the Infernus and it flips onto its wheels, um, you might as well restart because you're going to have to spend a lot of time pushing it to the water. Because if you, if you tap it even like that, the race will begin the cars won't stop driving, and um, chaos, basically. And it's really complicated, because in VCS, unlike LCS, the cars lose their properties if they finish one lap of the race. I don't know why this happens, but it just does, so this is why we can't activate that race. Whatever you do, just do not activate the race. It's a bad idea. Right, you should be able to see a bridge ahead of us. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see it when we get a bit closer. Right, about here, give it a big shove. Just get it on its wheels. If you can, like that. Now, very, very, very carefully, if you tap this at all, it will start the race. So go up to it. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. And now just gradually push it in the water. Do not flip it upside down, because if you flip it upside down, you'll not be able to get it out of the pond. I've tried to, I've tried to get it out of the pond when it's upside down, it just doesn't work. Right, that's legitimately in. So what you do now is you get out, and you snipe the driver. 
and he will leave the door open of the car, which means you can beach the car and drive it to your garage. So yep, the inferno still remains in the water. Now we just have to get it out, and as you can see, the door is open. Because basically, with the cheetah, what I did is I uh, is um, on the beach. There's very little traction with the sand king, so it was very hard to flip the car on its wheels. So um, basically, we destroyed the car in the water, and because um, we failed the mission without killing the driver, the door of the car remained shut. So we had to push the car all the way back to the garage. Whereas luckily this time we don't. Maybe push it so it's facing the um, facing the shore and then push it from the back. And gradually it should work its way out. Eventually it will get out. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to come out. Eventually you'll f you'll just figure out how to do it. You just have to keep sort of trying and pushing. Eventually it will come out. Yep, there we go. The only problem is it's on the wrong side because the the open doors on the other side. Damn, what a pain! Right, I'm gonna try and rotate it around this way so, so the doors on the right side. Got to make sure that both of the um, both the wheels are on this part of the land. Like that. There we go. Even though it's a bit wavy, I should still be able to get this out. This could be a little tricky. And there we go. You've just obtained fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive color and furnace. And this just happens to be the white one. And lo and behold, it is exactly the same colour as Lancer's, which is frickin' awesome. The same colour as Lancer's and Furnace, and it's got all these properties to it. Right, property testing time. Pot proofing. Crap, I don't have a flame for our... Right, I've made it back to the damn safe house. Because I was absent a flamethrower, what a pain. Right, I'm going to have to show you it's pot proof again, because it's nice to know that it's got all these properties. And there we go, pot proof. Fire proof as well. Right, now I'll show you it's tip proof. Right, tip proofing test. And there you go guys, that is a tip proof and furnace. I hope you managed to do this, um, if not then you're just going to have to keep trying. You will get it eventually, I promise, it's not impossible, just um, it's an awkward, tricky manoeuvre. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.